Hey everybody, I'm Joe DeGanzik and this is Smarter Home Life. So, you've already clicked on the video, you know what the title is, you probably know what the product is that I'm about to talk about, so let's just get right on with it. If you love the Amazon Echo and saving money, you have probably been waiting a couple years and generations for them to get this product right. And they finally did. This is the brand new third generation, fully redesigned Amazon Echo Dot. Now, I'm not gonna go through any changes with Alexa, Lady A, because there are none. It's just another device that connects to the cloud and to Amazon's systems, and so there's no changes there. Let's go through the physical changes, and then we'll go through the actual changes that you wanna hear about, which is, of course, the audio quality, volume, level, output, all that stuff. So, physically, as you can tell, uh, it's bigger. It's slightly you know, wider uh, than the previous generations. The sides are covered with fabric now, so it's got a little bit softer appearance. It'll kind of blend in with your decor. This and the Echo Plus received these kind of redesign refinements this year. This is the first time they've included a white version that actually has the white top with the buttons and so forth. The buttons have raised symbols instead of being concave, so just a little bit different feel. Um, four mics instead of seven this time. And on the back, we lose the USB. Not a complete deal breaker, but I don't know why they went to a more traditional uh, power, you know, power block, power adapter, and they could deliver the power with USB, but you know, whatever, we'll move on. You still have the 3.5 uh, 3 millimeter stereo out. So now let's get on with what you really care about, which is the audio quality, the volume output. And this is an easy one. This is a no brainer, to be honest. It is a night and day difference, which is what we were expecting. The first and second generation were just really not that great audio uh, devices. The, the speaker actually fired it downward. So depending on what surface you had it on, you could get some distortions, especially at higher volume levels. Third generation, you do have the side firing output. And when I measured, I just you know, just put on some pop music and measured it from a few different, a uh, few feet away with a, uh, a VU meter app on my um, iPhone, I got about 75 to 80 decibels. So that's a pretty good volume output, and it is definitely loud, about twice as loud or more than these previous generations, which were about the same in terms of audio quality and output. But let's do the real test. And uh, here is the, here's a, a piece of music from YouTube's creator library called Burner. I've used it a couple times before. Here are some VU meters, which were the maximum was set by the maximum volume output of this guy, the third generation. So here's the second generation playing that song. All right, so no surprise here, low volume output, even at maximum uh, output, uh, not great audio quality, and it's, well, it's been surpassed by this guy. So let's take a listen. Uh, I'm gonna put up both of the level meters so you can see the, the uh, real-time differences. Uh, same song, same piece of music. I've EQ'd this a little bit. You do have a tri-band equalizer with the various echo devices. I brought the bass up a little bit. It's kind of a little bit of a kind of a techno-y song, and uh, brought the mid-range down just a touch, and and the treble down just a touch. And to my ear, it sounds pretty decent. This is at maximum volume. It's been, you know, the levels are set, so I've got some headroom. Okay, so like I said, it's a night and day difference. You just, there's, there's no, there's just no comparison at all. Um, for what this is, you know, if you go back, you know, 10, 15 years, the original like computer, you know, multimedia audio speakers, which weren't that great and cost, you know, in some cases a lot more than $50. This is, uh, it, from, from my memory, you know, you could get two of these and now have a stereo pair, which I'll go into in a second. Um, it's a lot better audio output and a lot better audio quality, in, in my opinion, to my ear uh, than where we were. So is it perfect? Is it room filling Sonos sound? No. Will it fill up a small room? Yes. The audio recognition is still the same or maybe slightly improved. Um, I noticed that it was a little bit better than the previous generation, especially when next to a noisy appliance like a fridge. So they've introduced uh, stereo pairing recently for Echo devices, and now uh, with a third gen Echo Dot, you can get two of these, not yet at a discount or like a multi-pack, but you can get two of these and actually have that actual left-right stereo separation, so a little bit better audio quality. 
if you had two of these, I would say that it would actually be reasonable sound for a smaller size room. Maybe a bedroom uh, would be a great uh, choice for something like this, or you know, I guess you could have a pair in, in a smaller living room space, perhaps. The other thing, of course, they introduced the Echo Sub at last month's event where they introduced like 13 products. Um, the Echo Sub is $130. You can pair that with this as well. Um, and, and the Echo and the Echo Plus device. So um, so some some more varieties, basically some it's a more versatile device and you can add on an Echo Sub to actually get that bass because the high end, um, the higher end output, the frequencies and the sound is actually pretty decent on this and you can crank it up. So to wrap up, I think this guy is definitely a worthy upgrade, especially if you have been waiting around or if you have one of the previous generations. Uh, this is definitely uh, has been worth the wait. Uh, Amazon could have gotten to it a little bit sooner, but anyways, it's finally out. Uh, better audio quality, a nicer, you know, new kind of rounded design, more colors, more versatile, more options, stereo pairing. <laughs> Can I say better audio quality and higher volume output? Yeah, so definitely a worthy upgrade. And um, they've sold millions of these guys. They're going to sell millions of these guys as well. So I, of course, am here to help you with your smart home challenges. You can get me, you can go right to the contact form to uh, submit a question or to set up a dedicated smart home consultation with me at smarterhomehelp.com. Or of course, browse the wide library of videos here on YouTube or get, um, get Smarter Home Life across social media at Smarter Home Life. As always, I'm Joe DeGansic. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. <music>